So you want to buy an Antonov AN-2. Chances are you've never heard of this plane, or you already know everything about it, such is the way with cult followings. AN-2 is a Soviet-era, I'll say, miscellaneous airplane. It was designed in Kiev as an agricultural aircraft. Not long after it was introduced, the Soviets thought, you know what we could use this plane for? Everything. Well, everything that doesn't require traveling faster than a Mexican free-tailed bat. It first flew in 1947, two years after the Beechcraft Bonanza first flew, and it entered production in 1949, again two years later than the Beechcraft Bonanza. It was very popular with the typical Soviet-friendly countries. China even produced its own version called the Y5. With the resurgence of bush plane popularity, the AN-2 recently came somewhat into vogue in the West, in a sort of hey look at me sort of way. In any case, it's actually quite a capable utility plane. It's outrageously slow, but very roomy, and will actually carry whatever you stuff in. The real claim to fame of the AN-2 is the takeoff and landing performance. For such a large airplane, it is very flexible when it comes to runway length and conditions. Pavement not required. Buying an AN-2 will be one of the least expensive part of owning it. It is a massive financial responsibility to own, which can lead to sellers being pretty motivated just wanting to make the bleeding stop. Importing to Western countries isn't simple, and a premium is applied to flying examples in developed countries. Is it actually that expensive to own? Sadly, it's worse. Granted, these numbers are rough. There's not a lot of data floating around. It will be hard to find folks to service it. Stuff isn't marked in English. Most of them are at least 70 years old. Wings are fabric. I've included the cost to hangar, but in reality, it's totally plausible that your new AN-2 had sat outdoors in Siberia for like 40 years. And that's not even a joke. It's powered by a 1000-ish Shvetsov ASH-62 radial engine, which is a Soviet version of a Wright R-1820. I got an estimate of $90,000 to overhaul, but the person who gave me that overhaul admitted Admitted he was guessing. It could make it to a thousand hours. Truth be told, the AN-2 is a really cool plane. It's made appearances in lots of movies and TV shows, including Jumanji, Walker, Texas Ranger, Expendables 2, The Crown, and Stranger Things. Owning a plane that was only ever meant to be owned by governments can be tough for individuals. Add to that the age, the Soviet origins, and you've got your work cut out for you as an average owner. Nearly all Western jurisdictions require AN-2s to be registered as experimental, inhibiting them from commercial operations, so that means the bills are coming directly out of your allowance. Cool plane though. That's Antonov AN2. Thank you for watching. See you in the next.